Erling Haaland scored his 52nd goal in all competitions this season as Manchester City beat struggling Everton at Goodison Park. Now Arsenal are into the final few minutes of their game against Brighton at the Emirates Stadium and Brighton have gone 2-0 up. Julio Enciso had given Roberto De Zerbi's side the lead with his close range header six minutes into the second half and substitute Dennis Undav has just scored Brighton's second with four minutes of normal time to play. That game's over on Sky Sports Premier League now. I think there certainly will be an element of concern, not necessarily about the entire performances against Brentford and Manchester United, two games, of course, which ended in draws for Chelsea, but the fact that Chelsea did not put away enough of the chances that they created in both of those matches. We well, are going after the highs of the 7-0 win of a Manchester United at the weekend. How would you sum up that performance? I'm joined here on the pitch by Abere Eze. Abere, it's another comeback win for yeah. Crystal Palace. Another comeback win here at Southhurst Park. How did you guys turn that around? And as a team, you've now gone top of the Premier League standings for the first time since February. After how this week has gone in terms of today's result, but also the win of Arsenal, how confident are you that you will hold on to that lead? The team news has landed here at Stamford Bridge as Chelsea holds Nottingham Forest in the Premier League and Frank Lampard has made no less than five changes to the side that went to the Vitality Stadium last weekend and beat Bournemouth 3-1. And the big news from Chelsea's point of view is that Edouard Mendy returns to the starting lineup in place of Kepa Aritha Balaga, who is on the bench. Yeah, it is just the one change uh, for Marco Silva here today from the team that, of course, uh, did that smashing grab job at the Amex Stadium last week and beat uh, Brighton. Carlos Vinicius comes into the lineup to replace Harry Wilson. And talking about yourself, you set up Cody for his goal. That's your fifth assist in your last four games, and everyone's talking about your new midfield hybrid role. How much are you enjoying that role? When the title race is as tight as it has become this season, how hard is it to not watch what Man City are doing in their games? Yeah, you mentioned it there. I think it's going to be hugely important. Emma Hayes has asked her side to be passionate and to be aggressive in front of what is set to be a record crowd here for a Women's Champions League game at Stamford Bridge. Well, David, you made six changes from the team that beat AZ Alkmaar three days ago, but no Naya Fagged in the matchday squad. What's the situation with him? You said after that game that your team lacked the aggressiveness in attack. Do you want to see them be braver on the ball tonight? Yeah, absolutely. I could start off with the fact that I have actually run from the training ground to the Red Bull Arena. I have uh, gotten some cover here from the rain, which is quite heavy um, in Austria right now. But yeah, you mentioned it. Kalidou Koulibaly didn't train with the Chelsea team at Cobham earlier on today. He, of course, picked up a knee injury in that draw against Brentford last week. David Moyes has decided to stick pretty much with the team that got that crucial victory. Let's have a look at the starting lineup for West Ham because it is just the one change, and that change sees Mikhail. Antonio come in for Danny Ings who is on the bench so just a change up front for West Ham. What was interesting obviously he's come back from a serious knee injury which has kept him out since last November so he has been out for a long time he did struggle in that first game against Everton I think Thomas Sucre talked about it afterwards as well and what was interesting from my point of view was just to find out what he feels about the competition of Mark Kukurea coming in for a big fee as well and yes, they can play in the same side. You can have Kukure uh, on the left of that three-man um, defence. And you could have Ben Chilwell in the left wing-back position. But I think more often than not, with the way that Tuchel plays, they will be competing for that left wing-back role. And he said, I've had that all my career. Mm. You know, I've had it at Leicester. Um, I've got it now. And it doesn't scare me. Manchester United came from a goal down to beat nine-man Fulham 3-1 and reach the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Well, Martin, just describe to me what that game was like to play in, from going from the lows of being 2-0 down to winning it in the dying seconds of the match. 